Okay, guys, you got Woodrow here from Corrosion of Conformity. You're watching The Offering. Okay, so you've been on the road a while on this tour. Yeah, we have. <laughs> uh, this time as at Liners, how does it feel to be back? Uh, you know, I, I guess we got started back last December. And so we were out forever, you know, doing with, with, with Zach Wild and all those guys. Yeah. And uh, then we boogied over to Europe and did a few things. And so this really is like our first time getting to do a real headline yeah. set, you know, in the States. So it's, it's been fun, man. We've been out for about a month or so. So it's, it's going good. Enjoy So it. many shows sold out, including tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's awesome. You know, it's, it's not like it's uh, giant venues or whatever, but it's nice that they're people are coming, you know. Did you expect that when you started this tour? Uh, you never know what to expect, but I mean, it's, uh, it's a strong package, so you know, whenever you can sell out gigs, it's nice, man, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. and since the release of no, Cross No Crown, you, like you were saying, you've been on the road so much. Uh, yeah. Now, do you have a favorite song to play live from yeah. this album? Now you yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, man. We we were just uh, we've got a couple more that we're getting ready to throw back in the set, and one that we haven't even played yet. Uh, Little man off the new record. I think we're gonna. Uh, we were doing it at sound check just now, so maybe we'll uh, we'll try to bust that out during a set. But uh, yeah, Wolf Named Crow from the new record is one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 we've been doing uh, doing uh, bringing some old ones back into the set recently. Uh, one from In the Arms of God called uh, It Is That Way. And I love playing that one. It's kind of got this, you know, heavy sludge kind of groove to it. So that that one's a particular favorite of mine to play live. There are so many good songs. It must be hard to we'll put together a set. It's hard to choose a set. Yeah, I mean, you know, you get ten, eleven, twelve records or whatever it is. Yeah. It's, it's hard to uh, choose, pick and choose which ones you want to do. So we've been switching up, you know. So now that a year passed by since the release of No Cross No Crown, how do yeah. you feel about this album? I think it's 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 great. I mean, we it's done very well for us so far. You know, fans seem to enjoy it, and uh, we're traveling all the way through the end of this year. We're going to end up uh, doing a few more things. I guess we're going to do that Psycho Vegas and at the end of the summer, and of course go back to Europe, and then we're going to we've got that uh, old Mustaine and crew has invited us out on his uh, his inaugural mega. Oh, mega boat or mega cruise or whatever it yeah. is, and we we haven't done one of those since we did uh, the last motorboat, so that's gonna be a blast. But yeah, we're we're staying out all year, you know. We're we're gonna support the record, you know. So you still love it like like the first time <laughs> you listen to it. I don't ever listen to it unless oh, I gotta no, learn a song, really? you know. I mean, you know, I gotta play some of them live. But you know, sometimes I, if you're talking about listening to your own records every once in a while you know you go back and you pull out a record you haven't thought about in a few years you know put it on and go oh yeah i remember that song yeah yeah we should throw that one back in the set you know sometimes we'll listen to it to decide you know before a tour what songs we think we might want to play you know and stuff so it's sometimes it's fun to revisit those old records but i don't ever sit around and listen to my own music you know <laughs> so. what was the most fun part of writing this album the, the spontaneity, I would say, because we really, we wrote it all in the studio. Wrote it and recorded it. Recorded it as we went along. So it's jamming. Yeah, jamming a little bit and everybody would have riffs, you know. And uh, uh, at, the, at the beginning of the day, we'd show up at the studio and just be like, okay, I've got a couple riffs. All right, I got, I got some. Let's see how they work together. Start jamming a song. And if we came up with something that was, uh, you know, viable, we'd turn the tape machine on and go at it. You know, and hopefully by the end of the day we'd have something on tape and come back the next day and finish it up and you know that's how we created the record. So you still had that chemistry that you had back then in the beginning? Yeah, I mean we've all kind of been jamming together long enough yeah. that we know we can figure things out. You're on the you same know. page. So getting close. Yeah. <laughs> Not always the exact same page, okay. but you know, but one you or two get... pages away, like close. <laughs> <laughs> and on this album you also covered the Queen song uh, uh, son, uh, son and Daughter. Son and Daughter, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Which you did before the movie came out, so you're way ahead of your time. Right? Yeah, yeah, we had no idea the movie was coming out. Nobody and, knew. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, you know, we're, we're giant Queen fans. You know, Brian May is one of my guitar heroes, you know, and uh, uh, I've been able to, I had the pleasure of meeting him it was many years ago, but uh, our producer, John Custer, had been begging us to do this one particular Queen song forever, for years. And uh, finally, you know, he laid, the, he brought the hammer down on us during the session. It was like the last thing we did uh, pretty much for, for the, in the recording of this record. And he was like, man, you guys are going to do this song. And we were like, okay. We went in that morning, you know, kind of listened to it, learned it, put it on tape, boom, there it was, you know. And uh, I think it was, uh, I think that particular Queen song lends itself to our style, you know. Yeah. So it almost sounds like it could, it it could be one of our songs, you know, it sort totally of. Totally does. Kind of, kind of, you know. So we, it was fun doing it, and uh, it, it just felt really natural, you know. Would you like to go over other songs in the future? What, like more Queen songs? Or any other band. Uh, you know, we've done covers in the past. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. um, you know we, it's always a nod to, like, uh, some of our favorites. You know, maybe, maybe we'll try a Thin Lizzy song. or a, Of course, everybody has their Sabbath song right. they've done in the past or something. You know, all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm always open to doing something fun and cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking about your old discography. We were saying so many albums. Is there an album you would like to play live entirely? Ah, well, that's a good question. We're we're considering. You know, uh, this year is actually the 25th uh, anniversary, anniversary of, deliverance. of Deliverance. You know, uh, uh, everybody's uh, you know everybody likes that record. There's a lot of good songs yeah. on it and stuff. So we we might. I don't know about the entire record, but we're gonna. Mm-hmm. We're going to do some shows where we're going to do more off that record than we might normally do, but uh, it would be kind of hard to pull off some of some of our albums in the entire because there's all the, you know there's like these acoustic bits and yes. little middle pieces you know that might be hard to pull off live things we've never done but uh, you know I'm always up for a challenge we'll see we'll see what happens. So now that is the 25th anniversary of the year, and so you feel about that album? Is uh, it really special for you? It, it was. I mean, it was. Uh, we spent a lot of time making that record, you know, and uh, it was our first record, really, for for uh, that major label, you know, uh, Columbia or whatever. And um, you know, we wasted a bunch of their money, spent a bunch of bunch of Sony's money making the record and having a good time for a good reason for a good reason yeah you know and it came out good but uh, you know uh, yeah to, for, to me it's just another one of our records but it does have some of the some of the fan favorites on there you know and things yeah. that we still play live so yeah definitely still today a lot of people love it yeah yeah so it's, it's nice it's nice yeah. I can't believe it's already been that long it doesn't feel I like I know it. <laughs> surreal <laughs> And after all these years, in fact, uh, being a musician, what is the most rewarding aspect for you? Ah, I think uh, being able to travel and, and, you know, show up in a town like Chicago and, and have a sold out crowd and people there that are still coming to see you. A lot of old fans, a lot of new fans. I think that's the most satisfying. You know? Seeing the old guys out there with a the beard, but they might have their, their son or their daughter right. with them, you know, and introducing them to, the, to music. I think it's great. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Right, because your music is still relevant today, as you... Yeah, so, I, hope you so, album, I hope yeah. so, man. Yeah, so much <laughs> positive feedback. So. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. And when you started, in fact, things were very different in the music scene and industry. Yeah. What do you think of the current situation? I think it's, it's stayed, it stayed uh, pretty vibrant. You know, I'm not one of those guys that says rock's dead or anything like that. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's still kicking ass. I mean, whenever we were coming up, you know, you're talking 1982 and stuff. Uh, it was, of course, very different. You know, there were some factions there, you know, metalheads didn't like punk rockers and vice versa and things like that. Whereas now people kind of come more together and, you know, it's a little more cohesive, I think. Yeah. And do you think you can reach more people now? I think probably so, man, you know. I mean, people complain about the internet and all that kind of stuff but I uh, but you know people use it to get their music out too yeah. so it's I think it has some pluses it helps uh, compared to no internet yeah right I mean now kids can like punch in a name or a song title and boom there it is whether it's on YouTube or wherever the hell else it is you know like, it's kind of they kind of they have instant access which is sort of weird but uh, I don't know it seems to be working all right and when you started, did you expect that you would be still making music after over 30 years? Nah, nah, I wasn't thinking like that. I was a kid. 
You know, just doing what I, we were just doing what we do. You know, we weren't thinking, ah, you know, 40 years from now we'll still be whatever. But uh, I am happy to still be doing it, you know. But I never would have thought that back then, no. What do you think about the future of corrosion or conformity? What would you like to achieve that you didn't do yet? Uh, you know, man, I mean, we've done it. We've done a lot. I'd like to just be able to continue doing pretty much what we're doing now. You know, I would, I would be happy with that. You know, I'm not... Uh, You know, I mean, we've done a lot, we've seen a lot, and traveled with, you know, practically every band. But uh, just to continue on this path would be pretty sweet. And speaking about continuing, did you discuss already about a new album? Uh, a little bit. But, you know, I mean, it's going to be a ways off. Because, right. you know, like I said, we've got the rest of this year, 2019, still going. So we're, we're probably going to get a solid two years under our belts of touring. And then... Mm -hmm. Buckle down and start getting serious about start another one. Yeah. About we've we've chatted about it a little bit. Ideas and approach and you know direction. Yeah. You know. So we'll see what happens. But you're <laughs> gonna do another album for sure at this point. Yeah, right? I'm sure we will. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Yeah. As long as we're having fun, you know, which we are, so it's cool. Most important thing. It is, always. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. And enjoy the rest of the tour. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, some, something like 10 days more? No, we got, uh, what is it? No, we got about three weeks left. Three weeks? Yeah, wow. something like that. I think, well, yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Two and a half, I don't know, whatever it is. A while. <laughs> Then we'll see you next time, because I'm sure you'll be back. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. always a pleasure. Yeah, thank we'll, you. We'll do this again. We'll chat. Yeah, again, right? sure. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you.